I told you we gon' take you to the top. Can't believe that Mr. Wanna Boy to flop. Ay. To the top, it's your boy Underdog Crypto, aka J, here with another cryptocurrency video. And folks, do I have a cryptocurrency video for you about the privacy renaissance? Now, folks, I have a very complicated, detailed project but i'm going to do my best to break this project down because you absolutely need to know about this project and you need to know how it works but before i do that i'm going to bring you through my disclaimer you know your boy in our crypto is not a financial advisor and everything i say is not financial advice it's for your educational purposes only but if you so educate yourself and blow up your bank account, you are welcome. And for those who may not know me, let me introduce myself so that you know who I am. Your boy under crypto is a certified digital currency investigator, a certified fraud examiner, certified expert in cyber investigations. I hold 10 professional board certifications in cyber forensics and security I hold a master's degree in digital forensics. I'm a digital forensic scientist, folks, currently pursuing my PhD in innovation and technology management with a specialization in information systems. And I utilize cyber investigation, forensics, and fraud examination, various ways to look into these projects to find the best information for you to help change your life through research. And what project am I going to tell you about today? Folks, is no other than the project Sudorusu, a.k.a. Sutter. Let's talk about this project. At the time in which I did this video, on August 22nd, 2021, the price of this token was .004194. That's a little under five-tenths of a cent. The all-time high was in 2019 on November 25th, where it went to eight cents. And this has now dropped 94% since its all-time high. Currently, at the time in which this video was recorded, it had 5,778 holders. Looking into this a little bit deeper, the volume at the time was 185,000 in a 24-hour period. The total supply was 10 billion. The market cap was about 16 million. And that was where we was then. Now, according to their project's website, they currently have a little bit more. Their holders is 6,779. So there's a discrepancy between the holders being reported on Binance Scan and also on their website. But I also looked and saw that their holders have increased. Their total transaction volume, as you see there, is over 176 million. They show active users at 6,000 and a number of deposits at this time in the last seven days with 13,420. Sudorusu. Now, I'm going to go through this project, but for those who don't have time, let me go ahead and do this for you. I provide research and in order for me to do that, I go through this project tooth and nail and I go to the details to find out everything I can to provide you a way to assist you with your research. I'm going to give you a summary, but you can look in the time-coded video after this video post so you can go to the sections that best suits you. Let me give you an overall summary of what the research showed me and then for those who want to keep going on the journey with your boy Underdog Crypto, we're going to go right to this project. This project is different because it is all about privacy. Not only about privacy, it's about thinking about the future. This project I consider a short, medium, and long-term project. I believe that what they're doing with Sudorusu is disruptive and how they apply their technology is different than other projects. What I found with this project that there are some opportunities here for partnerships with new partners and the care partners they have are phenomenal. I believe that this project has a potential of exponential growth 
and it will be unlike any other you've seen because they're in the right place, the right time, plus they have the technology that's different. Now, I'm going to grow through that. And I also believe that there is a synergy between Porn Rocket and NSFW. Now, this is a speculation that I have, which I will talk about later in this video. But you need to keep your eye out on both the needs, the problem being solved, and how these two separate projects could have a potential partnership. And if that happened, folks, it would be amazing. And I'll tell you why. But let's go through this project. And those who don't have time, go to the time coded video, like, share, love this video. You want people to understand that we are applying blockchain and technology and break it down in a way that anyone can understand it. Then this is how you do it. Messaging, get the information out there. I do the work for you folks. All you have to do is do your part to share, love, and give it to someone who might want to know more information about this project. Without further ado, Let's get started. Sudorusu. This is the project, and I'm going to break it down so we can talk about it a little bit further. This is a private payment infrastructure for cryptocurrency. Now, according to their site, millions of crypto holders on Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain can send, transfer, and withdraw privately via Sutter Shield network without exposing their private transaction data. They further say, that they have something that's different. Now, I'm going to stop there because I have to teach you folks. This is not just reading you coin market cap, folks. This is not just reading the website. In order for me to do what I do best, I need to bring you through a level of knowledge so you can better understand this complicated project. Now, what are we talking about here? There's two concepts I want you to understand, and I'm going to first break them down to you. ZK Snark. Now, I put it there for you can read it. It's zero knowledge, succinct, non-interactive argument of knowledge. That's a lot to say, folks. But by the time we finish this video, you'll understand enough that you can realize if this is something that you need to look at. Now, that is the technology that creates this privacy. But Sudorusu went a step further. Theirs is different. Theirs is considered zero knowledge almost constant, size succinct, non-interactive argument of knowledge, ZK Consnark. Now, folks, I know when you think about those things, you know, what does it matter? Well, it does matter. And I'll tell you why that this is important. And this is the messaging piece that I'm going to help you with. So you can look at these projects and see if this is considered an underdog crypto that you need to know about. Check this out, folks. Going through this project, on October 30th, 2020, here's a quick introduction to it. And I put the author here of this particular article. It says, in the near future, Sudorusu is about to launch an API that would allow a user to convert Ethereum and any ERC-20 token to its anonymized counterparts in Sudorusu protocol, and then run the Sudorusu transfer functionality to hide the transfer account identity and transfer amount. This API in combination with Suda Bridge will further allow the user to protect the payment anonymity and the confidentiality of other blockchain networks. The following are the main functions of the APIs for new Sudorusu protocol. Now, let's go through this. So, Sudorusu, this is what they're trying to do with their ZK Consnark scheme that I told you about earlier. It's going to guarantee the anonymity of transactions sender and receiver by hiding their identities among the others of the system while protecting the transfer amount through encryption. This contract is the key technology to protect the payment privacy of any smart contract platform that integrates the Sudorusu protocol. Now, a little bit different, generates a zero knowledge proof now, this is different because the algorithm takes the secret key of the sender's suitor account and the public keys of both the sender and the anonymity set and transaction amount to generate this zero knowledge proof. Now, I know that's a lot, folks. So I like to break it down, folks. You're on the phone call, folks, and you're having a phone call 
And what they're saying is, imagine you could make a phone call to someone else. And instead of your company, let's say you have uh, Verizon Wireless or Sprint Wireless or whatever company you have, and you know that if you make a phone call or text messages, you know that that is tracked. You can see in your billing statement. But imagine you could have a conversation with someone else. And even the phone carrier that has your uh, information wouldn't know who you was talking to. And they wouldn't know who they were talking to. And it couldn't trace it. Now apply that thought. Privacy for the sender and receiver of your cryptocurrency addresses or those QR codes. That is what Sudorusu is offering. Privacy. So that your financial transaction or your assets can go back and forth without having to give up that information so that you can further protect your identity and theirs. Now going further, let's talk about that. We're going to go through ZK Snarks. Your boy under our crypto is going to make you a intellectual. You're going to look at this and you're going to understand it because we're going through the white paper. Check it out, folks. There were two things that I looked at, over 100 pages of technical information. I'm going to only go through the white paper in the sections that I believe are most pertinent. But I also went through their yellow paper. Since I won't go through it, I will tell you a little bit about that yellow paper, which is the technical side of this project. What it did was introduce the mechanical portions, the technical pieces of Sudorusu project. They provide a detailed description and the confidential payment scheme. The yellow paper will introduce that technical aspects of the project. This is the cryptographic modules and consensus protocols. Now, I don't believe that for this project to be better understood, that your boy under our crypto needs to break that down. But I have a series called the War Series, folks. And if you watch my videos, the Wealth Analysis Research Series, that is the most comprehensive videos I have. Now, if I need to, I can do a War Series, but that is something that I want to wait until you can get this aspect through. Most of people who look at this project will notice that no one else on the online web will give them this level of comprehension about this project. They're not going to go with this deep, but I'm going to, folks. I'm going to give you this level of knowledge so you can better make trades that are in your advantage. Now, check this out, folks. Let's get through this project and learn about ZK Snarks. Now, the first person, or I should say project, that came up with this and utilized it is Zcash. It was the first to implement the ZK snark and a decentralized cryptocurrency. And, but the trusted setup of ZK snark presented security risk. It was relatively costly to do it, and it further reduced the likelihood of adoption. Sudorusu implemented and integrated a state-of-the-art setup-free zero-knowledge proof. And theirs, it states to be better and easier to be adopted. Now, their proposed ZK con snark, that C-O-N in front of it instead of the snark, theirs also attains an optimal balance between their performance and security. Now, this is what they said. To further facilitate the adoption of zero-knowledge proof in practice, Sudorusu will build a second-layer private payment protocol for smart contract platforms and UTXO. And we're going to talk about what UTXO means in just a moment. Payment model based on ZK Consnark. This in combination with Sudobridge will anonymize any cryptocurrency. Let's run that back, folks. Any cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, I'm going to bring you through another lesson, folks, of cryptocurrency accounting. I see all these technical terms. Your boy under our crypto does something different than, than simply reading your coin market cap. I applied research to the project and I allow you to understand better what we're talking about in a simple way. So let's talk about UTO and let me show you about accounting and cryptocurrency and we're going to make this applicable to you in real life scenario. Here we go, folks. Let's go through this lesson. Cryptocurrency accounting. Now, this is what a UTXO is. UTXO stands for unspent transaction output. 
similar to how a coin or note cannot be divided into a smaller denomination, and UTXO cannot be further divided. In other words, it is an indivisible chunk of a native token controlled by the private keys of the owners. Whenever a user receives a native tokens, such as Bitcoin, the transaction is recorded as an UTXO. The ownership is recorded on the blockchain and the network tracks all the available UTXOs. The number of Bitcoin owned by a user can be composed of several UTXOs. There are several blockchain networks that use the UTXO model. Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Bitcoin SV, NEO, and further others. Now, under the UTXO model, a new transaction uses outputs from prior transactions and new transactions create new outputs, UTXOs, that can be used in the future. A helpful way to understand this is the concept of using cash purchase analogy. So folks, that was a lot of information. So let's go through this aspect and talk about what it is doing. So here's an example. Imagine, assume you have five United States dollars or whatever currency is for your country. There are 20 notes. So a $20 bill. Now each $20 bill can be seen as an unspent transaction totaling in $100. So you got five $20 bills. Now you want to buy a shirt that costs $70. An underdog crypto shirt. Research over height, folks. That's what you want to buy. And you say, underdog crypto, I'm going to give you four of these $20 notes, which is $80. And I take that $80 and receive $10 in changes back to you. Because the shirt costs $70. You give me $80. I give you $10 back. Are you following me, folks? Now, the United States dollar or the dollar or currency of your choice, that $10 change represents a new UTXO generated in that transaction. Therefore, two UTXOs exist. They are generated in this case. One with four USD $20 notes. So you got those four dollars, the four $20 bills, that's $80. That 80 represented one U2XO. And the one of the change, the $10 change, that represented another UTXO. The balance in your Bitcoin wallet works similarly. In fact, it represents the net of all inputs and outputs of your Bitcoin UTXOs combined, showing how much Bitcoin you have available to spend, or in other words, the amount that is unspent. So you better understand that. So all we're talking about here is the simple mathematics accounting that happens every day that you may not know of called UTXOs. Did you learn something new there, folks? That when you spend your Bitcoin on a trade or you transfer, that change that's left over creates this accounting piece. Now remember, Bitcoin or blockchain is a distributed ledger. It's an accounting process, folks. And although we don't look at it as money, it's an asset, it's still tracked the same using the same principles that you would in balancing your checkbook and balancing your accounts. If you get change, it has a unique number, a UTXO that tells you how much exists after your transaction. So that way it can go back into your account and you can account for it. That way you can have balance at all times. That's what we're talking about. So going further, now that you know, understand a little bit about how ZK's ConSnark has to do with this accounting process when you do transactions, let's go further. Cryptocurrency since the inception of Bitcoin has considered user anonymity as its core value. Anonymous cryptocurrencies such as Zcash, CryptoNote, and Mimblewimble take the protection of individual anonymity a step further by adopting more sophisticated cryptographic tools, including a one-time linkable ring signature. The confidential transaction with range proof or even more general, zero-knowledge distinct non-interactive arguments of knowledge, ZK Snark, at the center of these technology innovations, and the implementation of ZK Snark protocols in real-world applications. Now, going further into ZK Snarks, the Snark protocols 
either require at least a logarithmic proof size or a trusted setup step that is indispensable, which not only implies a fundamental security flaw, but also contradicts the decentralized and transparent nature of anonymous cryptocurrencies. So start from there so we can make sure that you're going along with me. So what they're saying with Sudorusu is, hey, Zcash came out with this ZK snark and applied it to blockchain. And it was great. It did its job. It kept things private, your transactions. But because of how they do it, it takes a lot of computation. It's large, it's bulky. Just like the first computer probably took up a whole office space back in the 80s. This is what is happening with the ZK snark. The first iteration was large and bulky. And they're making a race car out of it with Sudorusu. And they're saying there are some security problems with it being so big and bulky. And that's what they're talking about. They have made a better race car. So let's go further and talk about this. Going further into it, this is what they said. Sudorusu is the implementation and integration of the state of art set up free. Remember that folks, set up free. Zero knowledge, almost constant size, sustained non-interactive argument of knowledge, ZK Consnark schemes which can guarantee both sender and receiver anonymity and transaction amount. Now they say their development of this project can be divided in three phases. So here's the three phases for the development of Sudorusu. One, implementation of ZK Consnart scheme. Two, develop a second layer private payment protocol for both the smart contract platforms. UTXO payment model based on ZK Consnark. This is the combination with Sutter cross chain bridge. This will anonymize any cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, going further, this is what the setup free ZK Consnark does. That's different than the ZK Snark. There are mainly two types of ZK Snark schemes ZK Cash had a constant snark size, but required a trusted setup. Now that step, that compromises it, and it could allow an attacker to print infinite amounts of ZK cash out of thin air without the possibility of being detected. That's a no good, folks. Second, you see the, the check mark there in red, and I want you to pay attention to this one word there, folks. It says set up free cryptocurrency, such as Monero, now, we're going to get back to that. Don't forget that crypto chain project, that blockchain project, Monero. Do not scale well due to their asymptomatically large snark size. Their proof size remains logarithmic even after adopting very elegant bulletproof techniques. Now, I want you to remember Monero. That's important. Now, back to Sudorusu. ZK Consnark schemes realize that the setup free almost constant size snark for the first time it has the advantages over the other ones in both categories with none of the downsides they can literally eat the cake and have it too now under the discrete logarithmic assumption their recent work found out and it pertains to the most compact and efficient range of proof among all existing candidates with or without trusted setup their proofs are 12% to 20% shorter. So that's less computational size to utilize, folks. It's a smaller package, easier to implement than the state-of-the-art bulletproof. And remember, the state-of-the-art, like Monero. Now, the standard range size, the security parameters are more efficient. Now, folks, if someone told you that they have a race car like Monero, a great cryptocurrency project, and Monero outdid Zcash because they had something more efficient. But then someone adapted and created something even better for less cost and more efficient. That's innovation, folks. Innovation will always be something that can do something else, a process, more efficiently or better. And that's exactly what Sudorusu did. But let me focus on Monero because if you know about Monero, Check this out, folks. On September 30th, 2020, the IRS dishes out 
five million for data firms to crack Monero. This project was so difficult that the IRS had asked people and chain analysis and Integra, two different companies, won that. $1.25 million on the IRS contract to break Monero. Now, who do they use? Let me tell you who they use. Your boy in our crypto is a what? A master in digital forensic science, folks. And guess who they use to finally break this unbreakable code? Look at the bottom there, folks. Crypto intelligence firm, chain analysis, and data forensics company, Intriga have won a combined 1.25 million contract to provide tools that break the privacy. Focus Coin Monero for the U.S. Internal Revenue Service. Folks, they have a contract on Monero by the federal government to break it. They want to know because sure, just like everything, folks, people use cash and they can do something illegal with it. People use credit cards and they, they do something illegal with it. No matter what payment system there has ever been, people always find a way to use it in a nefarious way. And just like Monero's was so difficult, the government had to pay over $1.25 million for anybody to help them crack this code. Sudorusu has a better code. So right now, you already start seeing the writing on the wall, that there's a happy medium that has to be talked about between your privacy and also protecting and making sure there's no criminal activity. Now, let's go further. Crypto intelligence firm, chain analysis, and data forensics company, Integra FEC, have won that money, 1.25 million contract. The privacy coins are primarily built for the purpose of hiding financial transactions from unwanted attention, such as law enforcement. That is one of the concerns the government has. Now, of course, Sudorusu has had many meetings and discussions with the public about how this is better and uh, to have privacy. Now, in red at the bottom, it says the IRS hopes that the solution will help it track transactions to a specific user, identify specific transaction details, as well as provide specific information on network activity. Now, folks, I'm going to be talking about a few things later on. The NSFW app. I'm going to be talking about uh, the projects associated with that. We're going to talk about privacy in this Sudorusu conversation, but I need you to focus, folks. These are the details people forget. We're looking for the highs in technical analysis, but you've got to use your skill sets to check out those small details that are big. And that is a big detail, folks. Privacy, security, and the balance between your privacy and also protecting people from criminal activities. Now, let's go through the differences. Let's compare to show once and for all that Sudorusu is different. Here's a comparison chart between ZK Snark and coins like Monero. If you look at the top, ZK Snark, its problem is the trusted setup. And I'll talk about that shortly of what that means. And the constant size proof is a good thing. With Bulletproof, the state of the art, which is called Bulletproof, the coins you see there, such as Monero, it has a setup free, which is good. So it's not a lot to set up. It, you don't have to have that connection. But as the logarithmic size proof is too big. But ZK Consnark by Sudorusu is set up free, plus has a constant size proof, and it's easier and shorter than all of the competitors, and it's already been shown to be better. Now, the interoperability of privacy preserving second layer protocol. I'm going to talk about that, but first, folks. I've been talking about ZK Snark and ZK Con Snark, and I know it's like it's a lie, and you're like underdog crypto. This is good information, but if I don't understand it, how can I be sure as a trader that this is something I should look at for the future? Well, let me tell you why. Let your boy in our crypto give you a, an example. Here's my example. Imagine we're here, folks, and you decide that you want to open up a safe or a bank account with one of the banks of your choice. Now, you have this bank account, and for the purpose of this, we'll call it your bank. Now, your bank has the ability to have your assets that you put in there, your cash, your valuable money, and you deposit your money. 
Now, you walk away from the bank. Two weeks later, you come and you say, I want to get my money out of my bank. So in this particular situation, you walk in and you go to the teller and you show them your ID and they ask you some personal information and you give them that information. After they look into their computer system, they can verify you because you gave them an ID, you spoke information that was personal to you, and they said, okay, the computer matches, and therefore, now you have access to your money. Now, what's the problem with that? Can anyone say that you've never seen a data breach? <laughs> I know you can't, because data breaches happen all the time. Why is this bad? Because we have to do something about it. It has to change. We have come so conditioned to it just being the same. This is how it could go with this technology. Now, the same situation, but you're going to call in this time. You call into the bank, and prior to it, you ask for your money. They're going to ask you for your last four of your social. They may ask you for your mother's maiden name. They're going to ask you a series of questions that you provided them. And if you verify it, then they'll let you do a transfer and have actions with your bank. Now, imagine you had a system, though, that's different. Imagine, though, you had the same situation, but this time you set up a third party. And this is a blockchain. And imagine before it's a trusted blockchain and you put your personal information in, like your social security number, and you put your driver's license. And you could prove you are who you are without having to say who you are. Proof without proof. Now, how would this work? You call your bank. It routes you to your third party system that you have set up on your own. That third party system have previously, when you set it up, gave you a PIN number. Plus, it asks you certain questions. You answer those questions, you put in the PIN number, it gives you a unique encrypted cryptographic hash, right? This information is sent to the bank. It automatically connects you to, to the customer service representative. The customer re service representative says, okay, how much money you need? They never have to ask you your social security number. They never have to get your driver's license. They need no information passed to them because a trusted verifier, third party, was able to do it. Now, you can imagine how more efficient that is because less personal information you give, the less data breaches. And if the third party trusted site is not as easily hacked or broken because of the encryption aspect, then that makes you more secure and your data more secure. But let's take it a step further. What if that third party didn't have to be set up? See, Sudorusu can do it with or without that third party verifier. Their technology allows for this verification proof without proof so that you can connect your assets, your privacy from one end to another verify it without the need of giving your personal information because you have set it up through their technology. Now that is innovation. Imagine all the credit card companies, all the medical companies, everyone needs this type of privacy. But we're going to go further. That is an example. Now their interoperability privacy preserving second layer protocol is something different. This is the second part. So they have the ZK Consnark. Now this is different. Their ecosystem will provide an interoperable second layer private payment scheme that allows the confidential and anonymous payment under different payment models. More specifically, we will provide a second layer private payment protocol for smart contract platforms and UTXO payment models based on ZK Consnark. In addition, we will build a cross-chain bridge that enables the interoperability of private payment. Furthermore, their design of Sudorusu makes very few assumptions on the underlying platform other than assuming it is a blockchain that supports smart contracts. Consequently, the implementation of their design can be easily adapted. And that's so important to various existing smart contract platforms such as Ethereum, NEO, Theta, Bitcoin, etc. Now, use cases, folks. So, your boy on our crypto, we're, we're trucking through here, folks. I didn't showed you exactly how it works, the accounting of it, 
how exactly it can be applied. But what are the use cases? That is important. So let's now walk through the use cases and see what you can do with this protocol called Sudorusu and ZK Consnark. Here we go. Potential use cases. I'm going to give you three. Start it off with private payment for DeFi, you decentralized finance, proof of identity, and data protection and monetization. Now, I'm going to leave it here for you to read it on your own. You can pause this part of the video and you can go through it. But let me give you a little snippet from each of these. With the private payment of decentralized finance, just imagine that. It will be a plug and play nature of a technical modules provided by Suter VM will guarantee the minimal efforts of developing the privacy preserving decentralized finance. Sudarusu will be the top choice of decentralized finance projects when they try to assume and ensure maximum liquidity while still preserving their client's financial privacy. Proof of identity. Zero knowledge proof of identity is another application of this technology. When a registered user visits a website, his or her identity is revealed when using the conventional password-based authentication process. On the other hand, if he could run a zero-knowledge proof of identity protocol to authenticate themselves to the website without revealing exactly who they are, this serves to protect the user's browsing privacy. Let's go about the data. We know about these data breaches too, folks. We're just so used to them and monetization. Imagine, folks, with this technology, it can also be deployed to protect one's digital property in a fair data monetization process. Imagine a hacker found a vital bug in a software. And imagine that hacker has knowledge of it. And the company wants to pay that hacker to tell them exactly what the flaw is. But the hacker doesn't want to give up their identity. This is something that happens a lot of times in the technology world. Matter of fact, you got pen testers who do this and they call it white hackers, right? This is the white hat hackers or it could be the black hat hackers. The point is companies like this service when it is in their benefit. So the hacker doesn't want to give up their identity. Using this technology, they could send them currency of their choice and the hacker can send them data and they don't have to know who each other are, but they can verify that one has the data and the other one has their asset. That is a way it can be utilized. Going further, you're gonna like this folks. The amazing power of zero knowledge construct can be a shining light for centralized. That's, that's their open web folks. For instance, like Uber or DD. Let me go ahead and just look at you folks. Folks, did you hear me? I said Uber, Rideshare, Airlines, Grocery Stores, Movie Theaters. But we're just gonna talk about this one right here, folks. Let's go ahead and talk about how Uber could be involved. Imagine there has been a problem for a long time with these companies being accused of manipulating the ride sharing price. However, the price variation could just be a natural result of the algorithm they use in some cases. Nonetheless, it might be difficult for some companies to exonerate themselves since the algorithm, especially the parameters of the algorithm, is their core trade secret. In this case, it is possible to apply the general zero knowledge consnart to officially prove their innocence while protecting their intellectual property. The same principle applies whenever there is a conflict between an algorithmic transaction, transparency, and confidentiality. Zero knowledge consnark, ZK consnark, can always be applied to realize control information leakage. Oh, folks, such as exactly the amount and balance can be achieved. For instance, the Federal Reserve, they're talking about the Federal Reserve, folks. Can you get any better than this? Could use our zero knowledge construct to prove they are not reckless in terms of their currency policies while not leaking any classified information. Folks, <laughs> you can use it in governments, companies, private citizens, consumers. It's better than ZK Snark. It's not cracked like Monero's. It is better, more efficient race car of all these projects. That is Sudorusu. And people are sleeping on it because they don't understand the project. But your boy on our crypto understands it completely. And now you do too. Let's keep going. 
the roadmap for this project. Here we go. Looking at the roadmap, I'm going to give you a general roadmap. This is what they said, and this is what they did. Sudarusu launched December 2018. They proposed ZK Constart and a second layer architecture design in September 2019. They did that. March 2020, Sudarusu will complete the development of setup free ZK Constart. This was from their white paper. They did that. Sudar Layer 2 solution that supports anonymous smart contracts will be online in the middle of 2020. They did that. The cross chain functionality will be implemented in June of 2021. They did that. And at the same time, this is what you need to pay attention to, folks. Android and iPhone, iOS wallet that is compatible with the privacy preserving cross chain functionality will also be launched. <laughs> folks, folks, I'm trying to tell you, folks, I wish I could tell you some advice, but I can't. I can tell you this, folks. Remember earlier I told you about the NSFW app? Remember earlier I told you about these things that people don't pay attention to? I told you about banks. I told you about credit card companies. You can This can apply to it. Data breaches. They are now in a position that your Android and iPhone apps can utilize this flawlessly, easily for your financial transactions in cryptocurrency or in the open web. Your websites everything one technology private layer to control them all sudorusu has for you folks but i'm going to keep going because you're not done you're not done yet you need to know more look at the roadmap folks here you go screenshot if you want to you got 2019 to 2021 they have hit every single thing that they said in their roadmap and they have been continually to move forward in progress now, I'm going to go through the bad. Your boy in our crypto looks the good and the bad. The project audit. Is there something you need to know? Because you don't know what you don't know. And I understand that. And if you're still with me, folks, we're about to go through their audit of this project. Let's talk about what I found. This project, Sudorusu, was audited on March 1st, 2021, again, an update. And it was a smart contract audit by Peck Shield. Now, understanding that you may or may not know who Peck Shield is, this was a 23 page audit and your boy in our crypto read every drop of it. So let's talk about Peck Shield, which is the industry leading blockchain security company. This is who they are. So Peck Shield was founded in 2018 by a former Quio 360 chief scientists and major investors include uh, these companies. The team members are based in Beijing and San Francisco and consist of seasoned security professionals and senior researchers from world leading security groups at companies such as Quio 360, Microsoft, Intel, Juniper, and Alibaba. Peck Shield has established strategic and long term cooperations and with key players in all areas of the blockchain ecosystem, such as the blockchain infrastructure vendors, exchanges, crypto wallets, mining pools, DApp developers, as well as DeFi pioneers. They also attracted widespread attention from the industry since they have, among other things, discovered issues such as Ethereum smart contract, batch overflow, loophole. They found that, folks. Been included in Etherscan IO recommended vendor list for smart contract security audit and ranked top three worldwide in Ethereum bounty program with dozens of years of experience and noted achievement in the area of vulnerability analysis, operating systems, malware defense. Peck Shield offers independent service brands such as DApp Total and Coin Homes and provides security total solutions to all blockchains. Folks, we're not talking about a fly-by-night convenience store audit. We're talking about the top. We're talking about the number one. We're talking about the big boys right here. This is a major audit because it's a technically hard, sophisticated, cryptographic hash type project, folks. And so they brought in the best. 
And what we're about to see is what the best had to offer in a 23 page white paper and audit broken down for you. This is what they said. In the Sudarusu audit, they outlined in the report their systematic approach to evaluate potential security issues and the smart contract implementation exposed possible semantic inconsistencies between smart contract code and design document and provide additional suggestions or recommendations for improvement. Now, about Sudarusu, Sudarusu is a project built upon the state-of-the-art cryptographic technologies, ZK Consnark. Sudarusu is based on a new efficient range proof scheme with transparent setup, which serves as a foundation of the entire protocol. So let's talk about that. In their audit, what we will see are high, medium, and low. Critical is in red, high, orange, medium is yellow. Now, that's the categories, that's the color scheme. Now, looking through this to see what they had, this is their overall findings. Here's the summary, folks. There were zero critical, zero high issues found in their Thero audit. They found one issue in medium, and they found four issues in low, and two in informational. So I can go ahead and give you this, folks. Nothing they found was significant at all that would affect this project from that standpoint. And the things they did find were informational. A lot of this has to do with coding, folks, and that coding was these things that they can take care of. But because I'm going to disclose everything to you, because that's what your boy Underdog Crypto does, I'm going to address only the medium issue. So the most severe issue, which was medium, and this is in red, I put a check mark by it so you can see it. It says, trust issue of admin keys, security features, confirmed. Now, I want to talk about what their recommendation was for this one issue. Their recommendation, promptly transfer the privileged account to the intended DAO-like governance contract. All change to privileged operations need to be mediated with necessary time locks. Even uh, eventually uh, activate the normal on-chain community-based governance life cycle and ensure the intended trustless nature and high quality distributed governance. Now, what was the status? The status of that was the issue was confirmed and the team confirmed the plan to hold the admin key in a multi-signature account. All change to privileged operations will be mitigated with necessary time locks. So, Sudorusu conformed and did everything they was asked to do, took the recommendation, made their project even better. And folks, they was already top notch, <laughs> already the top of the food chain. And all they did was retrofit another great company to audit them to make them better and they did everything did they needed to do and this project is complete now let's talk about what happened sooner you can see here according to the audit they passed the audit date and their update was done here so both audits i've showed you here and this was the previous audit and then the update to the audit so they passed their audit both times Let's talk about the partnerships, folks. Here we go. Sudarusu received strategic investments in several of the world's top organizations. And I want you to look at these because this is not a war series, but you can pay attention. Look at who they are partnered with and the world's top organizations. Sudarusu has announced strategic investment from several top institutions, including DiFi Alliance, Dialetic, FBG Capital, Fundamentals Labs, Continue Capital, and Layer Capital. Now, Sudorusu built a two-layer privacy protection protocol based on the original ZK Constart technology. It does not require a trusted setup, which has been a major drawback of the other competitors, ZK Snark Solutions. And Sudorusu's ZK Constart scheme has nearly constant size proof and both proof generation and verification performance has been reduced by over and order of magnitude compared with the state-of-art scheme. The core technical paper is accepted by one of the three flagship meetings of the International Association of Cryptologic Research, one of the top cryptographic conferences in Eurocrypt 2021. So there are on another level here. They are 
looked at as the top Sudarusu is. You want to know who's leading the pack, who has innovation foresight? It is Sudarusu. Remember, you have the Android, iPhone, they got it covered. Banks, they got it covered. Governments, they got it covered. Consumers, they got it covered. They have a better protocol than Monero. They have a better protocol than ZK Cash. They have a better protocol than everyone, folks. They've been checked and audited, but we're still not done, folks. We're going to get you through this so you can know everything about Sudorusu, folks. Sudorusu's code has been audited by Pexiel, and we talked about that, and they said what they did. Now, here we have their entire partnerships and their ecosystem partnerships. Folks, this is what I'm going to do for you. I can't just let you see these icons and not see them. There's 17 right there, folks. So I'm going to briefly go to this and show you all 17 very shortly in the next one minute and you'll be able to see each and every one of these icons and who they are partnered with so you can further your research who is giving you this type of content folks who is breaking this down for you so you can see the partnerships so you can see the venture capitalists so you can see everything about this uh, company your boy under all crypto check it out folks here we go Sudarusu has 17 strategic partners but what are those partners? Let's not skim through them. Here we go. One of the first partners that you see here is Chainlink. Chainlink is a Sudorusu partner. Waves Technologies, NEO, IOST, Ontology, NEAR, REN, Gravity, Lever. Smart Bitcoin Cash, Theta, Polygon, Harmony, Elrond, Standard Tokenization Protocol, ARPA, and Phantom. Now the business sentiment. The business sentiment of this token. Let's see what people are saying. So here we go. Have you heard of Theta, folks? Elrond, Wave, all of these are major companies in the blockchain and there's the CEOs. So what do businesses and blockchains think about Sudorusu? Well, let me read three of them for you. This is from Theta. Their CEO says, I am very delighted to work with Sudorusu team to implement a privacy protection function for Theta network. There are many enterprise users who need to keep the on-chain data confidential by introducing the Sudorusu protocol. The Theta network not only can meet their demands, but also accelerate the launch of Theta applications. Now, Elrond CEO says, we believe that privacy is imperative, so we are very pleased and that our cooperation with Sudorusu can bring more assurance in this regard. Collaborating with Sudorusu makes Elrond itself a private transaction protocol and also obtains the privacy cross-chain function so that users can use Elrond's privacy smart contract function by paying Bitcoin or Sutter tokens as gas fees. Now, lastly, the Wave CMO says Sudorusu's idea of providing a privacy protection layer is impressive. We believe that privacy protection is key factor for blockchain-based finance to surpass the current limitations. To achieve this common goal of blockchain neutrality, we are willing to go hand in hand with Sudorusu on the road to innovation. Folks, now I've provided you Business sentiment. What do companies think? You know what the top companies think? That who invested them? Their partnerships, which I showed you. Well, here's three examples. They think Sudorusu is innovative, is necessary, and the future and resolves a huge problem. So let's keep going, folks. Now, the public sentiment. What does the public think about this project? Well, let's talk about it. User experience highlights. It says arbitrary amount deposit withdrawal and transfer via MetaMask. No lockups of your phones and layer two uh, shield. Faster than deposit withdrawal from centralized exchanges and much better privacy protection. Withdrawal to any layer one addresses and transfer with one layer addresses. 
So going further, this is Suter. They have currently almost 70,000 followers, folks. On Here we have a 240% gain to the moon. And your boy Underdog Crypto has a lot to say about this part, folks. So pay attention, folks. I'm getting to it, folks. I told you in the beginning, there is a connection that I believe based on everything. And I want to show you why. Let's keep going. Here we go. Here's another public sentiment. A top gainers in the last 24 hours on the Polygon Network ecosystem on 10 August 2021, Sudorusu was number one top gainer. That was recent, folks. And what about project updates? So now I'm about to get to the project updates. We're getting through the last of this, folks, and I want you to see what they've been up to. Now, Sudorusu announced that their Suter Shield version 2 now supports withdrawal to any address. Any address can use their security protocols, folks. Any address can be private. It's done. They updated it. Here's this events from their events page. Suter Shield officially launched the enterprise version to meet the daily privacy needs of corporate users, folks. That's business money, folks. Solution scenarios include the external investment of blockchain investing institutions internal financial management of blockchain companies, including payroll management, reimbursement, and operation and management of blockchain foundations. It is vision that companies can apply blockchain technology and their daily financial expenditure in the future and in the process to ensure companies manage risk while meeting the growing regulatory and compliance needs. At present, we are working with several companies to sort out their customization needs. More information will be announced. So you see that. And here we have Sudorusu. And, they, and they, I want you to understand this, folks. Did you know you can stake with Sudorusu? Your boy on our crypto, I have all these secrets for you, folks. This is a token you can stake, but it's not like any other POS proof of stake. It's not the mining like traditional mining. This is different. And to explain that, I'm going to read it and then I'm going to give you my example. And I think you'll better understand it. Become a Sudorusu validator node to get mining rewards and commission fees. Stake 1 million of Sutter to become a validator node and participate in mining. At the same time, community members can be entrusted to participate in mining and a 20% future mining rewards. Now, this is what you can do with Sutter. But let me explain it to you folks. And I'm going to use an example that you may not ever thought about. And it's going to be this right here. Do you remember this called Where's Waldo? Now, folks, I told you, boy, under our crypto, I'd like to break these things down. They use a lot of technical jargon. Why, folks? I'm going to break it down for you. If you remember you remember Where's Waldo? If you don't, look it up. It was a little game, a book, and you have to find Where's Waldo. And if you see here, you saw, you would look and find Waldo, and you see him, he's amongst a lot of people. It was hard to find Waldo. Now, why is that important? Well, this is what they did to explain to you how you can stake. So, if you know about trying to obfuscate something, trying to hide something, Imagine if you had a room that was completely painted black. And in that room that's completely painted black, you dropped a red marble on the middle of the floor. It will be very easy to find a marble. Would you agree? Now, imagine a room that was completely painted black and you put a red mark on the bottom of a black marble and you took a thousand marbles and you threw them on the floor and you have to find it in a certain amount of time. Could you easily find it? No. And why couldn't you? Because it is obfuscated. It is camouflaged amongst a lot of other marbles. And because everything matches in black, it's very difficult to find. So what Sutter does for your staking is this. If you set yourself up with the Sutter shield and you do the staking, you make transactions on the behalf of the blockchain and those transactions go out into the amongst other transactions to help obfuscate 
legitimate transactions so they can't be traced as easily. Imagine that marble with a thousand black marbles in a black room. You are allowing the ecosystem to do what it does to help hide transactions with also the ZK Constart hiding at privacy, but you're creating more traffic, which is very difficult to track. And for doing that, they give you a reward. And that is how you stake. Isn't that beautiful, folks? No one does that, folks. That is different. And that is what you have to know. Now, looking at their staking protocol, I want to see if it's still current. And you can just take a look and you can look for yourself and it shows you their, how they're staking, how much the rewards are being staked at that present time, at the time in which I did this video. So you can look at that. Now, I'm going to now talk about Underdog Crypto's research analysis and speculation. Folks, we've come to the end of this story, folks. I've brought you through all of it, but now it's time to give you my speculation based on my research analysis of Sudorusu and why you might want to check out this project. Because if it happens like the way I think it's going to happen, folks, this may be big. Here we go. What we're going to talk about is not safe for work. So if you don't want to hear about my speculation, then you might not want to tune in because I have a speculation, folks, based on what I told you. Here we go. Check this out, folks. If we look at Sudorusu on August the 8th, 2021 at 7.08 a.m., on their social media page, they say, for those who care about their payment privacy, when you spend your cryptocurrency purchasing content from NSFW, not safe from work, Sutter Shield is a perfect product for you with a star. And it, it had very little traction, folks. 55 likes, 21 retweets. Now, check this out, folks. Now, they said they support private payment of various cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, BNB, USDT, BUSD, etc. You are welcome to use our product, okay? Doors are wide open for collaboration between our two projects at Porn Rocket. That was 7.08 a.m. at August 8th, 2021. Now, I'm not done yet, folks. So you see that the company on August 8th, they pinned and tagged Porn Rocket and the NSFW app. They said it. I didn't say it, folks. I'm the researcher. Don't get mad at the messenger. Just understand the message. They on their own tagged the NSFW application. Now, that's one thing, confirmation. Why would a company put themselves out there if they didn't believe the application was real? So for those people who want to get FUD, who didn't want to listen to the research about NSFW app, right there is a confirmation. This company, Surusu, we saw they had the best of best. They have the collaborations, huge collaboration. Why would they risk their professional integrity to align themselves with the fake project? So it's not fake confirmation. Confirmation, but I'm not done. That's not the speculation, folks. Now, they said you are welcome to, but this is what happened, folks. Check this out. On August the 10th of 2021, for some unknown reason, Sudorusu took off and it went to dot 006089. That's six tenths of a cent. And it went all the way up. Now, I want you to notice that it says, they said to the moon on August the 10th. These dates are important, folks. August the 10th, they said to the moon. They had a 240% ROI return of investment on that date. Now, why is that important? Wait a minute, folks. Hmm. This is August 10th. Let's see what Porn Rocket was doing that day. The new all-time high is imminent. NSFW app on August the 10th, at the same time, they were approaching their new all-time high. In fact, here we go. Now, at the time in which this was done, at the same time, there was dot zero 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 two six five one. Now, why does that matter? Well, let's think about it. Folks, this is underdog crypto speculation. Now, I'm going to tell you about this. During an AMA, Ask Me Anything, I had an opportunity 
a couple of weeks back to talk to one of the owners of this project. Now I asked this question and the question I asked was, is there a collaboration with Surusu? And I'll tell you exactly what they said. They cannot discuss any type of collaborations that they have with their partners for both only security reasons, but because of NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. Now I thought about that, the, being very clear, their answer was they're unable to answer this question. So this is purely my speculation, folks, based on research. Now, I thought about this. Now, let's look at this application. Here's the porn rocket application. What do you do with this application? Do you remember in the research I told you that they are now with the Super Shield version 2 posed to do Android and iOS? They can also help with websites so that your privacy is intact and payment systems. Wait a minute, folks. Is it the porn rocket application, which they said on August 8th that they're welcome to use their protocol? They have the best in the industry. Would it be of advantage for the porn rocket application, the payment method, to be obfuscated in private? Isn't that the problem that porn rocket and NSFW is resolving? Isn't that a solution? Wait, there's more, folks. Don't they also have to worry about content? Didn't we see the use cases about protecting content? Isn't that something that the porn application and NSFW needs to resolve? They have to go somewhere to resolve it. The blockchain is not the problem. It's how do you create a layer of protection on top of that? Isn't Sudorusu able to do that as a use case? I'm not done, folks. The NSFW app itself. Don't you have a commerce between what you want to have on there showing for your banks and what you don't? That was one of the things they talked about. You, you swipe your credit card if you access this content, then it's going to show in your bank account. So wouldn't the credit card companies and also the consumer be better protected? Isn't data protection, content protection, isn't that a part of what NSFW is doing? And doesn't Sudorusu take care of each and every one of these things? And why was it that on August the 10th that both of them surged at the exact same time? And... One thing I know of being in the legal field at some point in my career, I know this. If you have a non-disclosure agreement, all that means is that you can't give information out about the company in which you have that non-disclosure agreement about. You can't tell anything. But if I don't have a non-disclosure agreement with the company, I can give out information. So it's what's not said sometime, folks, that is what's said. Now, again, I have to give you full. This is speculation, folks, but it's speculation based on logical reasoning that here's what I believe has to happen. You have to have this innovation. You have to be able to use it. And this is what you have here. You have an innovation that you can put with this project, and it is going to allow you to be able to do everything they need it to do in order to make this project work. Now, that is a speculation. So if this happens the way I believe that it's going to have to happen, folks, they have to have a layer of protection on top of what they're doing. And they are disruptive. They are taking the industry and putting it away. You got the OnlyFans that happened, the ban on that. You got credit card companies getting in trouble for not doing a KYC. They're doing a KYC. They have ability to have a partnership here. And if that partnership happens, it is going to be big. Now, let's go to... Diffusion of innovation model. Now, this is important. I want to talk about this. The diffusion of innovation model is something that I talk about often and it's something that I want you to understand. This model is essential. Where this project is, is the innovators, the 2.5%. There's five categories here first, early adopters, early majority, late majority, and laggards. Now, if we look at those five categories, there's a critical mass happening, an S curve you, may, you see, the bell curve here, and right here we see that there's a move toward being adopted that has to happen. Now, part of that adoption, there's a few things. One, innovators. This is the 2.5%. Are you an innovator? Is Sudorusu an innovator? I believe that they are. This is technology enthusiasts. They require the shortest adoption period. They're venturesome, risk takers. They understand and apply complex technical knowledge to cope with high degree of uncertainty. They appreciate technology for its own sake. 
gatekeepers for the next group of adopters and they recruit peer educators. Now, who are you? You're part of the early adopters. Now, look at this. They serve as opinion leaders, have a natural desire to trendsetters, role models. They're adventurous and excellent testers of subjects of innovation. Then you got the early majority. That's where everyone else would be, folks. These are pragmatists. They're deliberate contract opinion leaders as well. They're prudent. They want to stay within their budget. They want to do things that are different to disrupt the industry standards. Then you have the late majority. These people are the skeptics. They're skeptical of new technology. They're shy about it. They look at it. They require more proof than needed. Now we go finally to the laggards. That's the last people, folks. They're isolated from opinion leaders, suspicious of innovations. They want to maintain the status quo of how it's always been. And it is not up to us. Now, this was quoted, and I, I want to always give credit. Here, I show you the citation. And this is what's quoted by this author. And it says, within this theory, the goal is not to move people within the five adopter categories into another category, but to streamline the innovation to meet the needs of all five categories. And here you see from adoption, the early adopters all the way to late dollars to the saturation point. That is what's happening with this project, folks. So as we look through this, we have a product, Sudorusu. We see what it's doing. No project is doing anything like it. And we are at that stage where it's a short, medium, long term. It hasn't hit an all time high since 2019, but all of a sudden, after on August 8th, after having a conversation on social media about you can NSFW, you can look at our, our technology. After we saw exactly what it does with the ZK ConSnark versus the ZK Snark, after we see the applications in both business, governments, consumer, banks, after we see how it can help us in this way, how can you deny that Sudorusu is one of the best projects in the privacy space? And these projects have a possibility, a partnership. They ask for it. Will it happen? I don't know. But regardless if it does, I will take a serious look at Sudorusu and look into it deep and in seeing how this could be a underdog crypto. Well, folks, if you want to join me on another video, I appreciate you taking your time. That's all I have. Look in this video. I'm going to show you my social media pages. I want you to make sure you like, share, subscribe, and listen to the music that I put on here for you so that you can also be involved in getting to know individuals in the space who are going to help to move this forward by allowing this information to connect to you. So I want you to look here, subscribe, like, and share this video. That is how you get adoption. It's messaging and also allowing people to understand complex concepts in a simple way. Well, that's all I got, folks. Until next time, this has been your boy, Underdog Crypto. I, yeah, I told you we gon' take you to the top. Can't believe that Mr. Wonder Boy to flop, hey. Yeah, never move and shake you, but I pop, hey. Yeah, extras on my line, wanna chop, hey. Yeah, I see big pictures, you a scrap, hey. Yeah, vision helicarrier at the top, hey. Yeah, busy making moves and I can stop, hey. Yeah, make sure many moves and I pop, hey. Michael Jackson in the 80s with the pop, hey. Yeah, got to keep it clean, do the pop, hey. Michael Jackson with the hits, I'm gon' pop, hey. Can't believe I missed the one boy flop, ayy.